Welcome back to Ravenfield. You can see me loading in quite a few mods right now. That's because we're going to be playing a game mode, a modded game mode, that once again is just changing the way Ravenfield is played. A while back, we played a map where we had to do a convoy escort mission. We had to protect a fleet of ships from air and naval attack. We're going to be doing that in a World War II setting here. And in order to do that, it's pretty simple because this is the beautiful thing. Invasion force. And you're like, well, there's so many vehicles and weapons I have to configure. No, look at that. Boom. Thank you. Look at that. It looks like he's holding like a cattle prod, but isn't that like some kind of a mine? A mine! A mine! Let's see. So we need to go to point match and we need to have anywhere between 60 to 80 players. 64 to 80. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna max that out at as much as possible. And you know what? We're gonna go in there. So it's the US Marine Corps versus the Japanese Special Naval Landing Forces, aka their Marines. So what do we need to do as the Americans? Well, first off, we need to have American weapons. And my god. God, look at all of these weapons you can choose from. It's absolutely insane. So we've got the Wehrmacht, the Finnish, and here we go. Let's just go over to USA. And you know what? I'm gonna get a sniper rifle. This is why I love the modding community here. And I'm gonna have a M1 carbine as my backup. And let's go with a, what? Artillery barrage support? Yes, please. And then ammo never hurt nobody. So let's go to where we are gonna be spawning in here and let's slow it down. So we've got, it looks like some Hellcats here and we've got these big old landing craft. Now, the thing I've got to do is, excuse me, sir, that is my plane. Thank you so much. Thanks for giving it to me. I'll uh, watch out for the uh, tail there. But essentially those are our Liberty ships or maybe are these landing ship tanks. Let's go ahead and slow it down and see. Yeah, these are the big boys that can land on the beach and they open up the front and then ships can roll out. There was actually like, I know Battlefield 5 gets a lot of crap, but when they did the war in the Pacific, they did some really good job with amphibious warfare, which is one of my favorites. But this is a giant map. Once again, kind of changing the scope of Ravenfield. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna cue you in when we get closer to the action. So I'm trying to fly in somewhat of formation with my friends and it looks like an enemy zero already zoomed in over here. Yeah, just firing some tracers at distance here, trying to get this guy in my sights. Getting some hits. He looks like he's going for my friend and I'm just being a good wingman. You gotta lead your target and boom! We knocked him out because guess what? All of these Japanese Zeros, which were incredibly nimble and agile fighters, came from that carrier over there. So you know what? Okay, do we have any rockets? No, we've just got machine guns, so I'll be switching to guns, as it were. And it looks like, if we look very closely, it looks like there's two craft on the fi on the deck there, and I can't tell if one is actually a dive bomber or not, and then the other one's a Zero, but look at the tracer fire just going a little bit too high and hitting into the water there. There's actually a dude about to get in the plane. Let's see if we can't hit him. I disabled it. Yeah, that's the D3A1. Ooh! I think I may have hit him with my plane. <laughs> a little bit of roadkill there. Okay, so after doing a dive attack on the carrier there, you can see that on the minimap, we've got just American planes all over the place. I actually want to head towards the island, which I can now see. Now, it's a small island, and this is the island that the Japanese have taken over and that we got a hit so let's go ahead and reload our ammo belts here and go on a little bit of a diving run here dive bombing run i guess would be more appropriate now if i'm a betting man those sandbag little areas that seem to be shooting at me probably contain any aircraft batteries so <laughs> this is the beautiful thing about ravenfield though is you can do some nice slow motion since you're only fighting bots and unfortunately i guess that is the one advantage of you know playing in single player I, is he dead yet i really hope he's dead now we probably waited a little bit too long to pull up and we did it around trees but you know what sometimes it's good to be lucky oh those anti-aircraft are just starting to nick me so let's dip a little bit low which, if there are enemy fighters around, is not necessarily what you'd want to do. Speaking of that... Hey, buddy! Can you not shoot me? Thank you. Oh, man, and the sound of those 50s going. There we go. Ronnie, get out of there. Not a very, uh, typical Japanese name, Ronnie, but, you know, maybe that's his nickname. All right, we're getting absolutely smacked by flak. So my plane's a little bit weak. If I was to go down, I'd have to, like, swim all over the place. But really, my goal here is actually to protect the convoy. So let's go fly over there, and maybe we can get a little bit of air support here. Hold on. I think that's a zero there. So those are all Hellcats. That's a Hellcat. That's a zero. So this poor zero. Hey! Someone shoot at me! Guys, <laughs> requesting covering fire. But here's the convoy. 
And look at that beautiful... Whoa. Hey, 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 that's... That's me? Can you... Can you... You really did. You really did shoot me down, didn't you? Thanks, guys. So let's respawn, and it looks like we can't respawn on the boats, unfortunately. And you can see here that the uh, Japanese have three different points. There's two on the beach, and then there's their carrier. So I'm gonna deploy once again on the beach, and luckily for me, there's a plane here. Now, unfortunately, we don't have any uh, attack bar, like dive bombers, or torpedo bombers, or medium bombers, or heavy bombers, or fighter bombers. We just got fighters. And this is one of my favorite parts when the landing gear goes up. I like that. And there you can see him out there in the distance. Maybe when we take the airfield, we'll be granted access to dive bombers, at the very least, because I'd imagine we probably need to move on and take the aircraft carrier out. So basically what's gonna happen, essentially these four ships are gonna go and they're gonna attack that first little red capture point. You're like, why is that out in the water? They'll automatically do it. This was done similar to the uh, the rescue of St. Livens, I believe it was called, something about that. Oh, that's a, hold on. I gotta go back to doing my job here. Cause that is a dive bomber. Hey guys, look, I shot down a plane. <laughs> oh man. Oh, that's a zero on a friendly. That's a zero with no pilot in it. He must have been shot out. Hey guys, I shot down another one. See, my real count is one, but I could go back to base and be like, oh, I, shot, I totally shot down three. Totally did it, guys, you know? Just out there trying to go out there and give it 110%. But technically, I did destroy that one. It just was not piloted. It was falling through the air. So yeah, oh my god, Betty Bomber. Jeez. Oh, is that a friendly fire accident? Probably by the uh, flak guns, right? Make me feel better. Whoa, did the bomber just got shot down and there's the Japanese uh, crew, but they destroyed one of them. We only have three left. So I, I guess I'm out here like, look at how beautiful and awesome this map is. And then the medium bombers from the island come in from the Japanese Air Force and just start smacking up my boys. So I'm not too worried about the D3A1 dive bombers. Would you guys please chill out on shooting me? I need to go for the Betty bombers. Did they come from the island they must have right oh hey bud look at this guy oh you got a little tail gunner do you oh don't mind me and my uh totally getting wasty faced in here because that's the one one of the downsides <laughs> is like in this like I guess you could customize it, but uh, I only had 200 rounds and then I'd have to quote reload, but that's not how the planes really work. Look at this though. So this is, this is the combined anti-aircraft power. Oh God, no, those, the medium bombers are coming in right now. So right above the press fire to respawn. No, that's a D3A1 and that's an, okay. So they're both dive bombers. So there's still time to get out there. Look at these guys. Yeah, this is amazing. Oh, one of them looked like he was squirreling and maybe would have ran into it. So I'm going to take the farther out one. So my boys can get up in the air too. I really wish we could uh, arm rockets or small bombs. Oh dude, there's a dude on the uh, beach here with like a belt fed light machine gun just firing up at the uh, enemy fighters. I love that. So there's only two left and they're close. Oh God, they've got heavy artillery, don't they? If you look on the map for a moment on the island, there's these two little red, they look like turrets. Cause I think once we take the island, you're gonna be able to respawn in uh, LVTs. I think, which are my favorite vehicle of all World War II. They're basically amphibious tractors. Oh God, we've only got two ships left. There's two dive bombers flying around. Which one do we want to aim for? Got some hits there. Oh, there we go. Oh, they're little gunners. Oh man, this is not good. <laughs> I'm not going down with the ship this time. Oh, don't shoot me. Oh, we, did, did he just blow up or did he make it? Is this guy gonna make it? Luckily, there's no uh, Japanese mini submarines lurking about. I don't know if this guy's gonna make it or not. Oh! <laughs> Come on, make it. Once you make it though, we should take this point. Oh, that's a big bomb. Oh, look, they're contesting it. They're contesting this point. If it doesn't work. Oh man, we're getting, a, we're under attack here. <laughs> I just love the sound of the gun. All right. Uh, I think it might not be enough. Although then again, it should be enough. Well, I guess there's another way to do this. Oh, I think I need to fly over there and ditch out and try to capture it on foot in the shallow water while their artillery guns are shooting at me. The other alternative is I'm gonna play as the ship as well because it looks awesome. And I think I should be able to survive. I, I think the medium 
Betty Bombers were maybe a scripted event? I don't think this is gonna work. I think, oh God, yeah, this didn't work. So what we need to do is try to be the pilot because, because you see that, that amphibious tractor with the tank gun and a little 50 cal on it? That's what's gonna pop out, I believe. Now, unfortunately, I don't have a lot of different viewpoints. I've only got the one, but we have quite a bit of armament on this puppy. All right, uh, things are getting a little bit crazy already. An enemy dive bomber just flew overhead, getting chased. And it looks like this one's trying to line me up. So I'm gonna try to make myself a little bit difficult to hit. <laughs> oh no, friendly fighter just went down in the water right in front of me. Okay. Oh, hello. Yikes. Oh, there they go. Here's the medium bomber. I don't see any bombs going off. Maybe I got lucky, but that was definitely a little bit scary. Oh, that's a torpedo, wasn't it? Incoming dive bomber. Throw off their trajectory. Oh, that's a bomb away. Ooh, we dodged it. Oh man, this is wild. Hey, what would it be like to be a, a, a captain of a transport ship in a convoy when you're just getting absolutely barraged from the air? Well, this, this is what it'd be like. Straight ahead and then up into my left, medium bomber. G4M Betty Boma. Oh, how do we do? Oh, dude, that would have wrecked us. I mean, not destroyed us, but oh, and we, we got a friend right behind us now. Oh God. Oh! All right, so now it's time to repair. That's the first time we got hit. Betty Bomber came back for a second pass. Dive Bomber. Oop. Oh, God. Jeez. Another Dive Bomber. Start squirreling. Start squirreling. Didn't look like he was targeted on us. We'll check the formation. We still got all four ships. I think by this time when we were doing fighter escort, one of them was already down. So maybe I'm a better captain than I am a pilot. Now we'll probably start taking artillery fire from the beach. Oh, my God. This is gorgeous fighters going down around me. All right, so we're almost to the capture circle here, and I'm gonna have to stop moving, and this is where it's gonna get a little bit hairy. But all four of our ships are alive this time. And there we go. I'm in the flag point this time, so we're gonna be able to take it. What happens now? Eagle captured beach. Oh, look at that. Okay, deployment, beach. And I think I'm gonna need something aggressive. The BAR. All right, so we'll deploy here, and we should be able to get any of these armored vehicles. Good work. That one's on fire, but it made it. And now, oh yeah. I need some crew. There we go. Enter the LVT A4, which is armored variant four. Excuse me, artillery guns, but where are they? <laughs> oh, sorry, bud. I'm more of a howitzer, aren't I? I need a better aiming sight. Oh my God, yeah. I don't have any notches on my aiming sight. Ooh, uh oh, this thing's about to blow. We got directly hit. Hit the beaches! Hit the beaches! Bangalores! Get out of the water, you idiots! Oh my god, that was epic! Oh! Everybody get on the beach! No! Charlie! Ah! Wow, god. I got killed by a wave. <laughs> Bro, nature is brutal. All right, I, I shouldn't have ran back on the beach. I should have, uh, you know, went up. But look at this, man. The, the, the troop transport variant is running up with only 150 cal armored, by the way. See if I can't get in it. Pop, 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 pop. All right, where's... We're moving in, though, man. This is pretty dope. See, this is what I'm talking about. Wait. Is that them in the trees? Oh, I can see their planes. Oh, let's shoot it down before it can take off. Ooh. Look at this. It's just Japanese pilots over there. So that guy's just going ham over there. Oh, my God. I love this. Killed the modders, but I, I love the modders. I've got four health. I need a medic. We'll reload this BAR. Slap, slap. Put it in there. Oh, I got killed by mail. You've got mail. You're dead. Oh, that's cool. The convoy respawned, I guess. Hey, you need a pilot? Of course you do. But the beautiful thing about this is they are amphibious, which I'll just show off briefly because this is why they're my favorite, man. It's a swimming tank. I don't think they would go this fast historically, but you know what? It's fine. It's fun. Hey, shoot at the guys ahead of us, the ones that'll be shooting back, please. Thank you very much. This is a very interesting little bunker complex. Hello. Goodbye. Now, if only there was destruction physics where you could actually run over the trees. Ooh, boy. Ooh, boy. Where are they hiding? Hello, bad guy. Oh, man, look at this. And boom. All right, don't let him in the planes, man. Aerial denial. Hey, get in that plane. Go ahead and do it. You won't. You won't. Hey. Did we take it? We took it. Now, I'm thinking, I'm wondering what planes are going to spawn for us. Oh, sorry, bud. You're dead, but you're a bad guy. We should. I feel like we should get some planes. 
Oh, this sounds gorgeous. There we go. Now, unfortunately, there's still fighters. As far as I can tell. And so now we, I guess we would chase off the enemy aircraft carrier. Oh, someone just tried to bomb me. Rude. So the island is now ours. We have the anti-aircraft. I don't know where those G4M Bettys are coming from. But if you look at that, we own it. And so now the enemy aircraft carrier, which you can barely make out off in the distance, is probably crawling with infantry. So I'm gonna try to parachute on it. It just seemed like the thing to do at the time. All right, there she is. Oh, and she is beautiful. What a beautiful carrier. Oh, shoot, I missed it. <laughs> so now you respawn here, and then if you look on the map, they just hold the carrier. I'm not sure if we get any heavy aircraft or not yet, but let's try this thing out. Oh my God, that sounds great. Boom, got one. That's two. Oh, oh, yes. We got a bomber. I'm gonna be my gunner. Yeah. It looks like I got my dive bomber. I sure did. Look at this beauty. Woo hoo. We going on an attack run on that carrier because that would be the final mission is to not only chase it off, but to destroy it. Looks like we got one 30 caliber machine gun, I guess. Pada, 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 pada. Pada, pada, pada. Excuse me. Ow, 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 biscuits. Stop shooting me from way out there, you weirdo. Look at this beauty. I ain't she a beauty mite. So what I'd actually want to do is line it up so I can attack it. I'd attack in parallel as opposed to right now. I'm kind of flying in perpendicularly. Oh, come on. Gunner. Oh, man, I ain't gonna... Uh, evasive maneuvers ain't gonna do my... <laughs> what the heck? Oh, my God. Wow. Wow. <laughs> What the heck was that? Requesting a fighter escort, please. Why, why do we just give up air superiority? Everybody's on the ground now. All right, let's try this again. I feel like I gotta watch my six o'clock even more so than usual. Those zeros are definitely faster than us. Now this is risky because an enemy fighter could take off and just shoot me down going head on, applying it directly to my forehead, which would suck. But if I get lucky, I get to take out numerous planes. Now that's a friendly fighter overhead, so We'll get our bombing reticle up, and it looks like I've got six bombs. I can see a bunch of dudes on the carrier deck. Boom, boom, boom! Look at all those guys just spilling off the decks! Woo-hoo-hoo! All right, boys, pack your bags. War's over. I mean, not entirely, but... I just did some work, and that is going to do it for us here. So this is the Convoy Escort Mission by Sofa on the Steam Workshop. If you have in Ravenfield, this is free 99. So anyway, thank you guys for watching. Pull the trigger on the like button if you did enjoy the video. Subscribe if you're new. Let me know if you want to see more Ravenfield. And I will see you in the next video. I'm going to go bomb that carry again.